Okay, now for question number 11 from the um, <coughs> practice paper B from Pure Maths 1, International A Level. Here we have a curve C with the equation y equals 5x minus 4x squared minus x cubed. And we've been asked to express y as a product of linear factors. Okay, basically that's just another way of asking you to factorize this expression and they're basically telling you that e the factors will all be linear. You won't have like x squared or x cubed in the factors, it will all be x to the power of 1 in the factors. So they're basically asking you to factorize this. That's what you do when you factorize something, you express something as a product of its factors. Okay, so <clears throat> some, some students were confused as to what that was asking. Now there's uh, different ways we can do this. First of all, of course, you can see there's a common factor of x in each of these three terms. So you can take out that factor of x and you're left with um, 5 minus 4x minus x squared. So that taking out that factor of x leaves you with 5 minus 4x minus x squared. Now, they've told us that it's going to be a product of linear factors. Here you've got one linear factor and one quadratic factor. So obviously it means you have to factorize this part of it. Okay. Now, to factorize this part of it, there's two different methods we could use. One method is as follows. Um, one method is as follows. What you could do is you could take out the minus from inside that bracket. So you're going to take out minus so this becomes x squared. So I'll write minus x outside. Then I'm going to have x squared. And then all the signs will change in here. So that will be plus x squared. It will be plus 4x and it will be minus 5. Plus 4x. And minus 5. Okay, and then we can factorize this fully. This quadratic can factorize into two brackets. You know, you're going to have an x and an x. You know, going to, one of them is going to be positive and one is going to be negative because the product is negative. And we know it must be 5 times 1, which is 5. And uh, you end up with a positive for the sum. So it must be 5 minus 1 x plus 5, x minus 1, that's part A done. Express y as a product of linear factors. Okay, now, for part B, we're asked to sketch the graph of C. Now, we can see here that this is a cubic graph. A cubic graphs either have this shape or they have um, this shape here. Okay, if the x cubed um, term is positive it looks like this up and up if the x cubed term is negative it looks like this so this is how it's going to look so it looks something like this okay it's going to go down and then down again and we can see that it's going to cross the uh, the origin for sure okay because when um, x is 0 y is 0 for x equals 0 y will be 0 and we also crosses the x axis at two other points Okay, it crosses the x-axis, it crosses the x-axis when y is equal to 0. When y is equal to 0, you got x equals 0, as we see here, x equals plus 1, and x equals minus 5. So it goes through those points. It goes through minus 5, it goes through 0, and it goes through plus 1. Okay, and it, it drops and drops again. So you know that it's going to come down, go up, and come down again. So we'll try and draw this as best as possible. It comes down through minus 5, turns like halfway between minus 5 and 0. Just make that a bit more. Okay, make it a bit more rounded here. It goes up. It goes up and then down and something like that. Okay, so try and be a bit neater than this. You don't have all these bits sticking out. I'll just do that part again.
That's a bit better, I think. <coughs> okay. That will do. So there we have the graph of C. That's the graph C. And it goes through minus 5. Let me write these points clearly. This is minus 5 here. This is the origin 0. And this is 1. Those are the places where it crosses the x-axis. Okay, so there you have your graph of y equals 5x minus 4x squared minus x cubed. So y equals 5x minus 4x squared minus x cubed. So it must include the coordinates of all the points where the curve meets the coordinates. So that's right. Minus 5, the origin, and 1. That's fine. And the graph is a bit, should really be one stroke. Okay, you try and do your best. It's a bit difficult with the tool I have. So that's the best I can do. But I'm sure you can do better. Now part C says, hence sketch the curve with the equation y equals 5x minus 2 minus 4 times x minus 2 squared and minus x minus 2 cubed. Now the key here is the word hence. Okay, it doesn't say hence or otherwise. So some people were actually trying to expand this and form an equation. They were expanding uh, this x minus 2 cubed and expanding this and ex expanding that and finding a cubic curve, then factorizing it and finding where it crosses the x-axis. I mean, three marks you know, is, is too little for all of that, all right? So there's, there's obviously some relation between this question, okay, and the previous question. That's why it says hence, okay? And normally when it says hence, it's normally easier for you to use what's before, even when it says hence or otherwise, it's normally easier for you to use what you did before rather than doing it in another way, okay? So it's always best. When you see the word hence, even if it says hence or otherwise, always look at the previous question and see some sort of connection. And if you look carefully enough, this looks very similar to that. This is 5 times something minus 4 times something squared minus something cubed. Okay, so you can see that basically what's happened is the x has been replaced by x minus 2. The x has been replaced by x minus 2. So it's y equals, let me just get the pen back, y equals f of x minus 2. Okay, so this is actually a translation. This is a translation, okay, of two units to the right. Okay, when it's inside the function, okay, it acts horizontally and it acts, kind of you can say, opposite. So it says minus 2, it means 2 to the right rather than 2 to the left. So that's basically what this is. So we, can, we don't have to do any calculations apart from knowing that the 1, the minus 5, 0 becomes 2 spaces to the right. So it's going to be minus 3, 0. The 0, 0 becomes 2, 0. And the 1 becomes 3, 0. So instead of crossing at minus 5, it now crosses at minus 3. OK. Instead of crossing at 0, 0, it now crosses at 2, 0. Make that a bit. And instead of crossing at 1, 0, it now crosses at 3, 0. Let me just make that a bit better. Okay, my 2, 0, and it now crosses at 1, 0. 3, 0, sorry. Okay, so that's what's happened here. Everything's moved two spaces to the right. So basically you got the same shape of curve except it's going to come down like this instead. So it's going to come down. I'm trying to make it better than that. Okay, it's going to come down. It's going to turn on this side. It's going to go up. going to go down again. Okay, something like that. I'm trying to make this a bit more realistic. Okay, so it's going to come right down. Oops, it's going to turn on this side and go up. Let me draw it first and put the numbers afterwards. 
to make it easier. Okay, so we know, we, I know it's definitely going to turn on this side. It's going to start going up. Okay, I'll draw it proper over here first. It comes down. It goes up and down. Okay, so this is going to be minus 3. Uh, this is going to be 1. And this is going to be... So this is going to be 2, and this is going to be 3. Okay? So that's how the new curve looks. Now, there's one thing for us to show where it crosses the y-axis. It crosses the y-axis when x equals 0. When x equals 0, you're going to have y equals 5 times minus 2, minus 4 times minus 2 squared, minus, minus 4... Uh, sorry, minus 2 cubed, sorry. X is equal to 0. Okay, when X is 0, you're going to have 5 times minus 2. That's going to give you minus 10. Minus 4 times, um, that's going to be minus 4 times 4, which that's going to be 2 squared, which is 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. And you're going to have um, minus 8. Minus minus eight will be plus eight. Yeah, you're gonna have minus minus eight, which will be minus two cubed will be plus eight. Minus eight, sorry, minus and minus is plus. So you have minus ten. You're gonna have minus sixteen because that's minus four times plus four, which is minus sixteen. So you're gonna have minus twenty six plus eight. Minus twenty six plus eight is minus eighteen. So this is gonna cross at minus eighteen. So not really to scale. And that's fine. Okay, that's fine. We've got the right shape. We've got the, the curve turning in this part here. Uh, going through minus 18, going through 2, going through 3. And we have solved, well, we have sketched the graph. Okay, so there we have the end of that question and the end of this paper. And um, thank you for watching.